so, so sorry for not putting anything up for, like, a good week and a half or so. I've, honestly, I've just been very crazy here at the college, and there have been dramas with people and dramas with school and scheduling and all this stuff that you probably don't even care about. So, that being said, I'm going to finally talk about what I've actually gotten requests for the first time ever to talk about. Well, the first time I've gotten requests, not the first time that i uh, yeah. Um, and that is Kagura's disbandment, which is probably the most shocking disbandment that I had heard through all of the disbandments. Maybe, hmm, I guess, I don't know, Serial Number and Ayabie, they kind of, I don't know, top three, it's in my top three. It said that, their label, PS Company, which houses um, companies like the Gazette and Screw and Craw and all of them, um, they announced that Kagura will cease activities. Instead of using the word disbandment, the band members have expressed that they wish to call it a demise instead. I have a question for Kagura, and I don't know if I'm saying Kagura right, but if I'm not, please let me know. I think this is how you say it. How? And who? Who told you that calling your disbandment a demise would somehow make it better? It's ultimately saying that, you know, cease, desist, final. It's, it's, I don't know, it sounds like a really harsh way of saying disbandment. I'm not sure if they were trying to make it seem like it was supposed to be something that, you know, wasn't as, as bad as it was. Like, an easier thing would have been like, we're putting Kagra to sleep or we're going to euthanize Kagra. I don't know, it sounds like something you would say about somebody on death row or something that they're going to meet their ultimate demise. Anyway, um, the band has made the decision after multiple discussions, as is usually said about bands who disband, and thank everyone that has supported them throughout their 10 year going on almost 11 year career. They will say goodbye to their fans with a CD release and a tour, the album, holy shit, how do you say that? Um, hold on. Oh. Hyaki Kenran, I believe, will come out February 2nd, and their last tour will be on February 13th, and the final concert will take place on March 3rd at CC Lemon Hall in Tokyo, and you can believe that it's gonna be packed. Like, these guys, they've been around since the, like, two, year 2000, or maybe even 1999. Like, they have been around a crazy ridiculous amount of time, and some people are saying that they're not surprised, and that it was only a matter of time. Shut up. You were surprised. I mean, Maybe there was some sort of like really long pause with them where they weren't doing anything. I don't follow the band as closely as I should. Last time we heard about them was actually with Ishii, um, Kagura's vocalist losing his voice, as is so common with all the vocalists now. I think it's their newest PV, it's called uh, Shiroi Uso. I love that song, and I love that video and stuff like that. And that's actually how I got into them, so I haven't been a fan for long. Their album is, like I said, it's uh, called Hyaki Kenran, and it's gonna feature a music video for their song Chigiri, um, and backstage footage, and it's due out February 2nd of next year. Um, it's got nine songs, and they're all of Japanese names. The band members all talked about it too on their official website, and I'm just gonna read, I'll read parts of Ishii, who's the vocalist, it says, It's time for Kagura to cease activity which have lasted for 11 years. This is the demise. I still hate that they're calling it that. During these long years, thanks to the members, fans, staff, all persons concerned, Kagura was able to create unique culture pursuing the best music. However, we have found a final form in it, in it as a result. See, I like that better, that they found a final form in their music so they literally can't, like, they can't find themselves to continue. I mean, I guess the tons of ba ton of bands have that sort of point. Anti Cafe was one of them, that's why they're taking the hiatus. Uh, Deadly, same thing. I don't know, cause this is obviously, cause you know, this has been news for about a week now. I will tell you my initial reaction was like, jaw dropped to the ground, that whole thing. It was, I talked about it with tons of my friends, they were either shocked or not surprised, which I don't believe for a second, but it's, it's, I don't know. I still don't like the word demise, I hate that, but. I guess if you're going to end it for good, like final, like that's it, you guess you call it a demise. See, it just sucks too because I told you guys about the PSD company, the World Fan Club, and you could be like world fans with Kaga. I guess not anymore. I am curious about their last album. I hope it goes good like with the bang, like it gets good reception because if they're at their final form, and no offense to them, if the final form like sucks, that's not a 
really good way to end the band. So I guess in short what I'm saying is that I'm shocked. I'm sure you guys were or are shocked if you're finding this out now. And I wish everybody all the best and who knows, maybe they'll do solo projects in the future. But I just feel like they think as a unit Kagura can't do anymore and that's why they're stopping. Like they can't progress anymore. They've hit their limit as Kagura. But maybe they'll find happiness and ventures in other musical activities, and if not, happy lives to all of them. We're losing a great in J-Rock, and it has been kind of a bummed out week for me. And it's gonna be a bummed out day on March 3rd next year. Hmm. <sighs> Love you guys. Good luck.